morning everyone hello i am sangameshwar swami i am from hello. skn sagar institute of uh, technology hello. and science lonawada department of computer engineering and i am presenting the paper on a medical chatbot using machine learning here here are my teammates uh, this is swanagra harshal patil nitin and karpe suraj uh, can you next nitin so here are the outlines uh, we are giving the introduction motivation scope and objective as well as we are uh, giving the problem statement where we have came idea uh, from which uh, we have implemented our project as well as the preferred technologies system architecture and uh, proposed method methodology module descriptions as well as uh, we are giving the applications uh, where our project is implement, implement will implement uh, and future scope and the conclusion uh, nitin can you next so introduction uh, today is uh, we know that uh, in world there is a covid problem and there is uh, there are number of patients are uh, getting a uh, symptom uh, getting symptoms of the covid and the number of uh, doctor says very less so from which uh, we are uh, considering our project uh, in modern technologies uh, we can see that uh, our uh, hospital infrastructure is also going towards the new technologies uh, they can, they are using the uh, computers as well as the uh, robots to implement their uh, various types of activities so uh, for the health assistance we are you know, we are making our project that is medical chatbot in uh, in our chatbot uh, we are giving the personal assistant so they can interact with our chatbot and uh, give these symptoms and uh, uh, by using the symptoms uh, we are uh, detecting the which disease uh, uh, suffered uh, which disease is suffering uh, the user and we are also giving the similar uh, treatments also by uh, by uh by uh, analyzing their uh, symptoms uh, we are also giving the treatment measures also nitin can you next uh, motivation uh, so here uh, we are uh, there are number of people who cannot uh, get their uh, in native languages because they only know the their native languages so we are using the uh, we are using the we are giving the localized uh, languages that is hindi marathi as well as uh, we can give the many languages uh, in our system so our module is uh, our project is divided into four modules that is registration of admins user inputs natural uh, language detection and the symptom an analyzer we are using uh, for the uh, native language uh, uh, analyzing we are using natural language processing uh, which process the uh, different types of languages that is and uh, it convert the human language into the machine language and we are uh, for the classification uh, we are using uh, cnn algorithm uh, for the consultancy on healthcare issues Uh, machine learning algorithms are used to train the system for classifying the disease on the basis of symptoms with the next uh, scope and uh, objectives uh, as we know that uh, chatbots have the ability to engage the customers now you can uh, see every website has the, their own uh, chatbot for solving the some uh, some type of uh, issues of the customer so uh, chatbots have the ability to engage the customer they can also foster a relationship between customer and brands and deliver a, a more uh, personalized experience uh, for using this uh, type of chatbots uh, we can use the time as well as the money uh, in hospital inf infrastructure so uh, in a hospital there will be no any crowded uh, crowd uh, crowded situation nitin can you next uh, problem statement it is difficult to have access to hospital and uh, doctors personally on a regular basis it is time consuming we know that uh, in a covid situation we uh, there are number of people suffering from the disease and uh, there are no, less number of oxygen as well as the beds uh, uh, so this is very uh, time consuming and also the costly to approach the hospitals in normal consistency so uh, there is a need for localized people to connect uh, to the medical pract uh, practitioner at is so uh, from these all the problems we, uh, we have we have we are giving this uh, uh, solution that is our medical chatbot nitin uh, can you next uh, uh, so my teammate will give the another information nitin uh, patel can you yeah uh, literature survey to implement the project we have studied the uh, these uh, three papers there are many papers available but we selected this uh, three papers for study in uh, in the first paper they use only text to interact with the uh, chatbot in second paper they used ai but also they use uh, uh, text uh, to interact with chatbot uh, in last paper they use network analysis and text mining uh, uh, we have implemented uh, using nlp and cnr for accuracy of the result and we have added voice and native language in the chatbot uh, oh. we have uh, used html5 css3 bootstrap 
django and javascript for user interface and for backend we use python uh, and uh, for uh, back uh, backend database we use mysql next harshit uh, sonogra uh, okay thank you nitin and uh, as we can see that this is a architecture diagram architecture diagram of our system uh, uh, and a user has a channel to communicate and consult with a doc, uh, with a chatbot where a user has two options audio command or a uh, text command it depends on the particular user whatever the uh, whatever the channel he wants to use and uh, another next module is the that evaluates the text and speech by the use of automatic speech recognition and tokenize them in the form of small uh, small words are also called as a phonemes okay and uh, next module uh, another module handles the language detection and processing uh, as we have allowed the native languages to be communicated with the bot like uh, hindi marathi and as usual english uh, then there are two modules over there for input detection and classification of data with backend integration and uh, backend data services for classification we have used cnn algorithm that is a convolutional neural net utilizes uh, correlations with respect to input data and, and uh, it is specialized neural network for processing data that has uh, input shape like 2d matrix uh, nitin can we move to the next slide yeah thank you nitin uh, uh, this is model description there uh, here we have three modules admin model user model and automatic speech recognition model here a user model has uh, all the uh, all the allowance to handle all the user data in the de in the database and a user model handles uh, user can a uh, user can log in register and uh, use to uh, communicate with the chatbot with the voice or a text input and uh, asr automatic speech recognition is uh, is a uh, technique that we use is a model that we use uh, mainly for speech recognition and speech processing etc uh, can we move to the next slide okay Okay, hey, over to you, Suraj. Uh, thank you, Ash. Uh, within our uh, application, we uh, is used for the hospital and clinic, also in uh, uh, medical consultancy. Also, uh, our application can be used by people with uh, disabilities. Next, Nitin. Uh, future scope of our um, project is that uh, within uh, our application can be used for the uh, recognition of X-ray with the uh, also the our uh, project is also fit within uh, uh, automated robots or we, we can use that uh, robot as a, a doctor also. Next thing. Conclusion. It is concluded that user, uh, our uh, medical chatbot uh, is user friendly use for the people who know the basic of the uh, mobile use and uh, desktop version use. So our <clears throat> project um, is provided personalized diagnosis based on the symptoms. Thank you. Uh, thank you for everyone. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm having one question. Uh, you are saying that uh, uh, you are saying that your bot chatbot is available in the regional languages, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. So for these regional languages, you are going to use your NLP. Natural language processing. Yes. Yes. So yes. now, which algorithm from the NLP you are going to use in your system, or what exactly NLP is? Uh, so actually, the uh, the thing is that we have used Google Translator to translate the speech into the the original languages, and to process them, we have used uh, we have tokenized them and then process. Yes, you have used the Google Assistant already available. Google Translator, sir. It's, cool. a, uh, it's an API, it's a model that uh, Python has and that we have used. Okay, means you are directly, you have not used the NLP. Any algorithm from the natural language processing? Uh, yep, sir. Okay, okay, Arsha. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.